The 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 12. As the Hortator pondered the first lesson of ruling kings, Vivek wandered into the morning hold and found that Ayem was with a pair of lovers. Set had divided himself again. Vivek then leapt through into their likenesses to observe, but he gained no secrets that he did not already know. He left a few of his own behind to make the journey worthwhile. Then Vivek left the capital of Veloth and wandered far into the ash. He found a span of badlands to practice his giant form. He made of his feet a less dense material than the divine to keep from falling waist deep into the earth. At this point, the first corner of the House of Troubles, the Prince Molag Bal made his presence known. Vivek looked on Molag Bal and said, How very beautiful you are, that you do not join us. And Molag Bal crushed the warrior poet's feet, which were not invulnerable, and had legions cleave them off. Mighty fires from the beginning place were brought like nets to hold Vivek, and he let them. I would prefer, he said, some kind of ceremony if we are to be married. And the legions that took the feet were summoned again and ordered to begin a banquet. Pomegranates sprang from the badlands and tents were raised. A throng of Velothi mystics came, reading the passages of the severed feet on the ground and weeping until the scriptures were wet. We must love each other briefly, Vivek said, if at all. I am needed to counsel the Hortata in more important matters because the Dwemeri high priests stir up trouble. You may have my head for an hour. Molag Bal rose up and extended six arms to show his worth. They were decorated in runes of seduction and its reverse. They were decorated in the annotated calendars of longer worlds. When he spoke, mating monsters fell out. Where must it go? He said. I told you, Vivek said, I am meant to be the teacher of the King of the Earth, A.E. Altadun Gartok Padholm. With these magic words, Molag Bal added another, Chim which is the secret syllable of royalty. Vivek had what he needed from the Daedroth and so married him that day. In the hour that Baal had Vivek's head, he asked for proof of love. Vivek spoke two poems to show him such, but only the first is known. I'm not sure just how much glass it took to make your hair. Twice as much, I am sure, as the oceans have to share. Hell, my sweet, is a fiction written by those who tell the truth. My mouth is skilled at lying and its alibi a tooth. The sons and daughters of Vivek and Molag Bal number in the thousands. The name of the mightiest is a string of power. Gulga, Mor, Jil, Hiet, A, Hum.